What's up guys, Marisu here and welcome to Five Nights of Love Dating Sim. This is version 4 so we can now date hallucinations. I can't wait. You guys thought dating animatronics is weird enough. Well how about dating animatronics that are now hallucinations. It just, it just keeps getting weirder. I, maybe I should just stop. I, yeah that's probably a good idea. I should flip and just stop. I just, no, no, I'm not playing it now, no. Don't worry guys, we're gonna play it, don't worry about that. So we had the original game here, we had the new generation, and now version 4 being the Phantom generation. Let, let's get into it here, let's see what it's about. So we've already got Marissa here, that is fine and dandy. Another adventure awaits. I've heard rumours that this place is haunted by phantoms. I don't really know, but I'm getting paid so I can't complain. That's completely fine then, isn't it? It could be really spooky and terrifying. You know, and they could haunt your dreams every single night. But as long as you're getting paid, apparently everything's fine. <laughs> All right, then. Let's see what's going on here. So there's a paper on the table. Dear Rita, howdy. It's your first day in Phantom Generation. Good luck. You want a chicken like the others, I guess? Nope, because remember, I'm getting paid for this. So apparently that just destroys any fears I have for ghostly figures. It's all good, all right? <laughs> if you really want to know, there may be some ghostly characters wandering about. No, don't worry. I don't think they're vengeful spirits. Well, that's good to know. I'm getting paid and they aren't vengeful too. That's a bonus. It really is. I think more of them will pay out later tonight. You can communicate with them if you want. Pay attention to what they say because they might ask you questions. Go ahead and do some ghost busting or ghost loving. All right. I think I may do some ghost loving though. I mean, that's what this game's about. And this is why I'm here. And also I'm getting paid. So that, that again, that's another bonus. And uh, yeah, I think this has got pretty much the same premise as all, as all the like FNAF dating love games here. Like we can sweep floors and we get money. We check the cameras to find the animatronic, so on and so forth. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to sweep the floor a couple of times. I think that lets us buy gifts and stuff. So that's what we're going to do here. And we got, you know, our power here and it tells us our night. All the basic jazz of this absolutely amazing five nights of love dating sim. So we're going to check a room. I wonder who we'll find. And it does take energy for us to travel as well. So hopefully we can, dang it. <laughs> I was gonna say hopefully we'll find someone, but no, we don't find anyone. No one's here. Maybe I'll check that later. Room three, we'll just go room by room and hello! How are you doing? Your name's Shadow. Oh yeah, hello. Hi, how you doing? Can I give you something? Uh, we don't have anything. Okay, I think I gotta wait for maybe like... Was it like BB before? We could buy things in the previous like Five Nights of Love games, something like that. So I probably have to wait until I find like a sort of shop thing. We'll just talk to you for now. How are you doing? Hello there. How are you doing? Are you all right? You have very nice teeth. Looks like you brush them every day and night. Congratulations. They're very shiny, shiny. I like them. <laughs> Hello. So I'm Shadow. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you too, Shadow. You may be a haunted figure, but you're very polite. Very, very polite. And I like that about you so far. I really do. Hopefully we get to know more about you here. <laughs> Boo. So you didn't get scared? Strange. No. No. Remember, I'm getting paid for this. <laughs> Bye. I oh, no. You're going already? What happened? Did we see something wrong? Why are you leaving? Really? You're leaving now? I can't talk to you anymore. Dang it, man. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to find you again. Or maybe we'll find someone else here. No one's here. Maybe I'll check that later. Okay, so we're good to room six. No one's here again. We ain't having very good luck. Well, we saw shadows, so I suppose that's all right. But I want to see someone else here. Do we have, like, Phantom Chica in that? That'd be cool. How are you doing, man? Your presence seems to bring this jazzy music here. I don't know what that's about, but I like it. I very, very like it. So we're going to talk to you here and see what you're about. Hello? Huh? What's my name? I don't know myself. I couldn't tell you. Well, apparently you're called Phantom Freddy. So, uh, I don't know who named you that. But that's apparently what you're called, so that's what we're going to call you. We're going to call you Phantom Freddy. <laughs> Alright. There's someone who looks like me named Freddy? Then why didn't you call me Freddy too? Yeah, of course, man. That's kind of what I was talking about a minute ago. You're, you're dubbed Phantom Freddy there. So yeah, we'll call you Freddy. Aren't you actually meant to be Freddy though? You're like the haunted version of the animatronic Freddy. Did, do you not know that? Did your memory get erased? If you've got amnesia or something, you, you can't remember what happened. Bite of 87, uh, Jeremy Fritz, flipping whatever his name was. You don't remember any of that? I, I guess not. His memory must have been wiped, guys. I feel kind of bad now. I feel bad for this guy. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk, talk to him and see what else 
he's got to tell us here. It hurts my head to think about what my real name is. But I'm glad you're you're here. Oh, you're here anyway. Okay, that's nice. Oh, you're very nice, my friend. Can we talk to you again? I think I have to have some alone time to recall my memories. Oh, so he does have like a memory loss. All right, that's kind of neat, actually. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we'll leave him alone here. We haven't got much power ourselves here, so I don't know what else we can really do. We're going to hi again. Sure, we're just bumping to you again. Are we allowed to talk to you now? Hello. It's strange. I think I have amnesia. I flipping called it. I already called it, man. I called it 100%. I really can't remember anything before meeting you. I wish you could have a diary. Yeah, that would have been good. You could have looked at your, you know, your past notes. And then you probably would have remembered things. That's probably what you should do, man. A diary is always good to jot down your memories and just the things you did. Yeah, you, you should probably start doing that now, maybe. Just in case this ever happens again, you know. <laughs> so we're going to talk to him again here. I don't know if it's the amnesia or not, but I feel really strange. Are you starting to uh, feel a bit of love? <laughs> Oh my god, it's even weirder because, like I said, they're phantoms now. They're like ghosts. I mean, dating the animatronics before was weird, but they're haunted now, so it's... It just seems even more strange. It's like, what's it? Necrophilia? Is that the thing? Oh, I don't have enough... Oh, I don't have enough energy to talk. Dang it all, man! Uh, I guess we have to get back. We have to get back here and end the night, sadly. Well, we're on night two now, so we have our full energy. That is fine and dandy with me. Your energy has been refilled. Thank you so much. You made it to night two. The phantoms seem to be more active starting next night. Do you think they're hungry for love? <laughs> I guess. I suppose. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. We'll have to find out. So that's what we're going to do. Well, have a good day. I have to catch up on some... Supernatural. Oh, okay. Hello. All right. What the heck is that person doing? I wonder who that person is. Will we eventually meet that person? That'd be neat. Anyway, let's treat the floors for a bit just in case we eventually run into some sort of store or something. You never really know here because it's quite randomized, these kind of games. They've all been randomized in the past. Like when you click a room, it's kind of like a percentage when you'd actually meet someone. So eventually, maybe it could be a shop person. No, it's not. It's actually the puppet. How are you doing? You got a little name tag there that says Hello Mime. Why do you have that name tag? That's rather random, but we're going to give you a talk with you here and see what you're about. He looks up at you. Okay. Silent type, eh? Haven't got much to say. What's wrong? Are you a bit shy? <laughs> he waves a courteous hello. Okay, so he's quite polite then. He sees that you are making the effort to strike up a conversation. He motions for you to leave. He's tired of talking. All right, bud. All right, we've got a stern one here. Okay, we're not going to mess around with this guy. He wants us to leave. We leave. We, we don't even try and bend the rules of him. <laughs> okay, room five. Ah, hello. Gift boy. Exactly. We found the shop guy. Care for a gift? I sure dang do. That's the best decision you've made in the Atari game. <laughs> sure. I get a little angry when people don't take my presents, you see. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Tell the arrow keys to navigate my collection of goods. Maybe your luck and... Oh, try your luck and try to earn some money with the money gift. Okay. Isn't that neat? Whoa! 300 smackaroons! <laughs> what? What in the world? Should we try that? See if we gain money? Dang it! We didn't make any money! You scammed us! Ah, oh, BB is rigged! He's rigged! Thanks! Gift boy for scamming us. Now we've only got 40 money and 70% power. It was complete waste of time. Anyway, oh, who do you already know? Um, is this important? They did say it was going to ask me questions, but I don't know who I pick would be the right option here. Mangle, I guess. I guess we both have some sort of amnesia then. All right. That's random. Do I not get to talk to you any anymore? Apparently not. That's just wanted to ask me a question. And then he left. <laughs> so, whatever. Hi again. You're a scammer, so you can get stuffed. Leave me alone. Hi, Papa again. I want to know, know more about you here. So we're going to talk to you. He nods politely and points to his name tag. Yeah, it says, uh, hello, mime. Or something. I think I'm reading that right. And there's some smudgy writing here that I really can't read. No, I, I can't see it. I don't know what that says there. It don't say anything. You ask him what his favorite color is. 
and he points to his eyes. He likes white. All right, that's neat, man. Neat. You don't like green because you're covered in it. Maybe, uh, you know, you've grown a hatred towards that color because you got a part of it for the rest of your life now. Yeah, I feel bad for you, man. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> you crack a joke and he flails his arms as he seems to laugh. Oh, we're going on this good side here, guys. All right, that's good. Can we talk to you again? He makes the street. Oh, we gotta leave again. All right, don't bend the rules of him, guys. We gotta leave when he wants us to leave here. How are you doing, man? Let's give you a good talking to here. I've been wondering this for a while, but could I be dead? Yeah, sadly, uh, no, you're not. You're fine. You're you're looking a bit green, but that's just normal. You, you probably just need to take a bath. Make sure you scrub under the armpits. Scrub well. Uh, make sure you give your tummy a good scrub as well. You, you don't want to ignore the details, man. Just scrub, scrub down there as well. That, that's all it is. You're not dead. You don't look green because you're, you, you know, you're not haunted or anything. You're not some kind of phantom. Just don't worry, man. You're fine. You're fine. He's, he's flipping dead. He's, I don't know how to tell him, guys. He's, he died. Or something like a phantom. I feel calm about all of this. Oh, so he's all right with it. So if we did tell him he's dead, he'll be all right. Okay. <laughs> so, or if he actually finds out he's dead. I wonder how I died. But frankly, it doesn't matter anymore. I think I have to have some alone time to recall my memories. Oh, okay. We're running low on power anyway. So we're going to actually have ourselves a little nap. A little bit of a kip. But in fact, we've got six. We might as well sweep the floors. All right. We found ourselves $5 in total there. I'm fine with that. Your energy has been refilled. And that three. Okay. Another day. All right. Wonder what happened today. Ah, there are no more notes left for me. Oh, isn't that something? Okay. So we're going to... Don't know. Okay. We're going to find the puppet here. Fine. We're just going to find the puppet. That's that's all right. All right. You stroke his arm and he blushes suddenly. Oh, we're getting a little bit close, guys. <laughs> okay. You take his hand and place yours in it. He seems to be telling you that he likes that. Okay. He likey likey. <laughs> he makes us for you to leave. Okay, he wants us to leave again. Okay, well, we're nearly low on power here. We got about a third bit more than that. Who else can we find? Oh, it's Shadow again. How are you doing? Might as well talk to you here. Did you know that I have scared everyone except you? Yeah, man, I'm unscarable. I am oh so brave. You're not going to scare me. Most people run when they see my face, so it's normal to me now. Yeah, it's tough. But I get used to hearing people scream when they see me. Well, I think you're very beautiful in your own weird way. Very nice. You know, we've had great conversations and whatnot so far. So I think me and you are all right. There's no reason for me to be scared of you, man. But I don't feel like talking anymore. All right, then. Okay. All right. So we're very low on power here. We might as well sweep the floor a couple of times. End the night. Oh, we've only got a couple of nights left. Can we get with someone, guys? I don't know. Hopefully we can. We don't really have much time left though. Your energy has been refilled. Maybe we should focus on someone. I think I'll focus on Freddy. Because I really like how the story's going with him. He's got the amnesia thing going on. So maybe I should focus on Freddy and see what that's about here. So we're going to go to the camera. And actually, yep. How are you doing, Freddy? I was just talking about you. That is good stuff. Hello. Hello. I remember feeling cold and lonely. Ugh, suddenly I feel sad. And I don't know why. Could it be the memories of how I became like this? No, it probably is, man. I feel kind of bad for you now as well. I have to think uh, some alone time. Okay, so we're going to try to find him again here. We're just going to keep spamming. We should just eventually find him. I hope. I really hope so. I flip in hope. Okay, we're going to have to go to another room. Hey, we got lucky. All right. Hello. I also remember, uh, remember extreme hunger. Ugh, and not being able to move at all. Oh, this is kind of sad. Oh, no. Why am I thinking about this? No, I'm here now, and I can't talk, and I can talk to you. I don't care how I died. All right, I think he's, uh, you know, he's warming up to us, guys. That is good. That is also good here. It was really lonely before you came, you know. I think I have to have some alone time. Okay, so <laughs> he seems to be warming up to us here, guys. So I'm actually going to proceed with Freddy, definitely now. All right, because we're already at 60%. I think we might just make it if we spend both nights on him here. We might just get him to the 100% mark. All right. Hello. How are you doing, my friend? I think I'm not sad about dying anymore. Well, that's all right. That's good, man. I'm glad you've, um, you know, you've came to collect your thoughts and you're, you're feeling this way. That's, that's all right. I think I really enjoy what 
that you're here with me. Oh, isn't that nice? Thank you so much, my friend. I don't know what will happen to me now. Okay, so <laughs> we actually got no power left as well, funny enough. So we're just going to go along and actually just end this night. And hopefully... This last day, we can finish up with Phantom Freddy there and see what it's about with him. My last night here. Go and make it count. Exactly, man. Right, so hopefully we just find Freddy straight away. Yes! All right, I love that. No time wasting. So I'm hoping we can finish it with him here. It's strange how you are still okay with me being like this. Well, it's about the personality, man. It's not about the outside. It's about the inside. And You've definitely got that, my friend. Don't worry about that. <laughs> It hurts my head to think about what my real name is, but I'm glad you're here anyways. Well, your real name's just basically the same. Just take away the phantom. And then that's your real name. It's not complicated. It's strange. I think I have amnesia. I really can't remember anything before meeting you. We should have a... You said that before, man. You're repeating yourself. Well, you still probably got a bit of amnesia in there. That's probably why he's... <laughs> probably why he's repeating himself here. He couldn't remember that he said that before. I think I have to have some time. Oh, we're nearly done, though. We're oh so nearly done with him. Room four. Uh, sorry, Fan uh, Phantom Puppet, but we're just going to try to find Freddy here. Nope, not you. <laughs> we're trying to find... There you are, man. Oh, and he's asking me another question. What hurts when I think too hard? Your head? Pretty sure you said your head. You probably know more about me than I do at this point. Yeah, because you got amnesia. I know about your past, man, and you don't. So technically, if you put that together... I think I do know more about you. <laughs> All right, so hopefully we find him again. Come on, Fat Freddy. Up here, man. We're oh so near. Yay, and he's asking me another question. What do I think I have? Amnesia. Oh. Okay, he's blushing, and he's a very, very happy bear. <laughs> All right. I can't believe you stayed with me, even when I didn't know who I was. You didn't get scared even though I'm a phantom. Oh, you remember? Okay. Well, he did remember that he kind of died in the end, so yeah, that makes sense. And now that I actually know who I am, and that I have a clue as to how I died, I can finally rest in peace. Oh, oh, I'm glad I got to meet you. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> All right, okay. Phantom Freddy route, total score 200. All right, and we got two gifts. We got 36% with uh, Puppet there, 54 with Shadow, Bonnie, and I'm sent to Freddy, obviously. All right, so I actually quite enjoyed that, guys. I really enjoy chibi-x sized games, and I especially enjoy chibi-x sized little FNAF dating sims, whatever. If you guys want me to play more of this, maybe do the roots of the other characters, maybe Shadow Bonnie next, maybe Phantom Puppet. Definitely let me know in the comments. But anyways, if you did enjoy this video, definitely hit that like button. But most importantly, thank you guys so much for watching today. It's huge appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one.